It is Super Bowl Sunday, and you know what that means? Super Bowl commercials. They're always amazing. They're always great. They're always fantastic, and they're expensive as hell. Donald Trump and Joe Biden came out with their own Super Bowl commercials. I'll let you check them out. You decide. Leave a comment down below what you think, who you're voting for. Who do you pick? Who's the big winner? Who is your MVP? Prove the fact that Donald Trump says I want to cut Social Security or raise the age. I've never said that. There's the red challenge hat. Trump's challenging Haley's statement. Haley's claim she didn't call for raising the age of Social Security is under review. Tony, here's exactly what the official is looking at. Social Security, Medicare, how would you manage the entitlements? We say the rules have changed. What we do know is 65 is way too low, and we need to increase that. 65 is way too low, and we need to increase that. Let's take a look at another angle. We change retirement age to reflect life expectancy. I think the call's pretty clear, but let's go down to the field and see what official Gene Tooney has to say. After review, Nikki Haley clearly said she plans to change the rules and raise the age of Social Security. This results in cutting benefits for 82% of America. Bob, that was a rookie mistake by Haley. Nikki Haley highlighted in the Donald Trump Super Bowl commercial. Nikki got called out on a couple of different things. Taxes, gas, Social Security, multiple avenues where she had the quarterback sneak. A little bit of cheating, a little bit of holding, a lot of lying. And Nikki can't hide from any of it. It's pretty amazing to see what Nikki Haley is really all about. She couldn't win in New Hampshire. She couldn't win in Iowa. She couldn't win in Nevada when she was the only name on the ticket. She got beat by no other candidates or none of these candidates. Nikki Haley is about to get taken to the woodshed in her home state of South Carolina. Multiple outlets, multiple polls show her losing by double digits, at least two, maybe three touchdowns. Nikki Haley really needs to rethink her game plan going forward. Donald Trump is driving down the field, gathering up votes and just gobbling them up. Nikki, I think it's time to go. And just with Nikki leaving, that's a 15-yard penalty on Nikki Haley for lying. Maybe some tax interference as well. Next up is Joe Biden's commercial. Now, he took a different route on this, a little different playbook, a little different style. Super Bowl Sunday. If you're anything like me, you like to be surrounded by a snack or two while watching the big game. You know, when buying snacks for the game, you might have noticed one thing. Sports drinks bottles are smaller. A bag of chips has fewer chips, but they're still charging it just as much. And as an ice cream lover, what makes me the most angry is that ice cream cartons have actually shrunk in size, but not in price. I've had enough of what they call shrinkflation. It's a ripoff. Some companies are trying to pull a fast one by shrinking the products little by little and hoping you won't notice. Give me a break. The American public is tired of being played for suckers. I'm calling on companies to put a stop to this. Let's make sure businesses do the right thing now. Joe Biden is also experiencing a few plays or fumbles of his own. And the Democrats are ready to put in a backup quarterback. Who knows who it's going to be? But this commercial by Joe, who is pulling the strings with Joe Biden? Who allowed this commercial to come out? He's basically calling out his own campaign and his own failures within the economy. The economy is sucking. People are getting charged more for less. I know we're paying more and we're not getting a really good return on investment from the White House. You pick the MVP. You pick the winner. Who are you putting money on? Are you even watching the Super Bowl? Are you ready for this black national anthem? Are you ready for Taylor Swift and Mr. Pfizer to propose on the field? That's what the odds on favorite are. And I believe no matter what, the Kansas City Chiefs win this game. If they don't, there'll be hell to pay. There'll be a lot of blame for the referees 
they'll probably just blame everything on Trump. It seems to work the best for most problems in America. Blame Trump. It's all his fault. Blame Russia. It's all their fault. Blame Putin. Tucker Carlson, it's your fault. This is the veteran biker. I'm going to get out of here. I'll see you on the road. Take care. We asked in our national NBC poll over the weekend, we asked Republicans, who do you want to be the party's nominee? Donald Trump with a 60 point advantage over Nikki Haley. And what we're seeing in our poll here is seems to be a sense among Republicans as this process has begun to unfold of uh, a sentiment to coalesce behind Donald Trump and not to look at this and treat this uh, as a uh, as a tightly contested race. So, Haley, just that inability to connect with core Republican voters, unless that changes, it changes fast and in a big way in her home state. Really can't see her winning anywhere now.